you hear that I'm it, eh. so what is up you guys i'm back with another video and your girl is here fresh faced fresh faced hair done what are we really doing in this video i'm teaching y'all how i apply my wigs y'all period this is a very beginner friendly wig tutorial it's gonna be a talk through i ain't even gonna be talking in the camera because i don't want to sound crazy because you know um, but it's just how I apply my 5x5 five five wigs. Everyone always asks me um, what I'm wearing. Is it a frontal? It is a 5x5. Five five. Okay, this side. Don't want to cooperate. It's a 5x5. Five five. This is what it looks like. Like I said, not a guru. I'm showing y'all what I do to make sure my wig does not come off throughout the day. This is not a week-long wig tutorial. Boo. You could try to wear it for a week. It ain't going to stay on. You get you, you get you a day and a night <laughs> with my wig technique. A day and a night. You know, you you do it a little sneaky like you want to stay outside. It's not going to come off. But at the day, girl, go go get you some more hairspray to reapply. But if you're new here, it's your girl, Nasia G. Also known as Glam. It's T and welcome to the family car. Um, I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you for showing me all the love and support. If you like what you see, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's going to be something for you on the screen. But you know it down there below. Make sure you guys are subscribing. I love you guys so, so, so much. Let's jump right into the video. So jumping straight into the video, y'all. Y'all see this bonnet? It's coming off. Woo! This is what be under my wigs, y'all. But first things first, I'm grabbing my Edge Boost Edge Control, and I'm just slicking back the extra hairs I have on my face and um, my hairline. My hairline comes down pretty far, so I'm just showing you guys how I slick that back. You know, make sure I get all of the hairs out the way so I don't get any got to be on my actual hair next i'm grabbing my alcohol and the alcohol pad and i'm just cleaning off the extra oils off my face i know we just put on edge control but this just helps the wig to stay on a little bit longer and now I'm grabbing Naomi. Say hi, guys. Say hi to Naomi. She's a five by five closure, but she is frontal affected. This is why my wigs look somewhat natural. Like I know it's a wig and I know, you know, it don't look natural, but it looks somewhat natural. So all my wigs have elastic band. I literally slide it on just like that. It has a comb in the back. I hook the comb under and bam, she on. She on, just like that. Look at that. Look at that. Now I'm just, you know, fixing the wig, tucking it behind my ear. You can see my hair. That's why I was slicking it back because I have hair on my face. I'm just nipping and tucking, adjusting and adjusting. And she's on, period. Now I'm just cleaning off my forehead again. And now I'm grabbing my got to be. Y'all, this is when I realized the got to be didn't work. Look at that. It's nothing coming out. Nothing at all. Nope. Girl, struggling. There was nothing there. So once I realized that the got to be wasn't gonna work, I went ahead and grabbed my Tresemme five hold hairspray and just went in with that, which worked perfectly fine. You can probably use any hairspray. I know a lot of the YouTube girls have now been using the olive oil hairspray. I haven't got my hand on it yet, but I wanna try that too. So I'm just spraying the front of my hair and I'm using that extra, uh, what did I use? My rat tail comb. 
to smooth it in, spread it out good. It's a thin layer. Like I said, my wigs only last a day and maybe a half if you want to sleep in it. But I take my wigs off every night. And yeah. And she is already looking like, do y'all see that? Ooh. Like I said, I'm beginner friendly. I'm new to the wig game. I'm not a beauty guru. I'm not a hair person, baby. I do what works for me and what I think looks good. So let me just point that out there again. Now I'm just grabbing my I Love Jesus scarf. <laughs> It's a silk scarf that I have. I don't know where my other one is. And I'm wrapping that around my head to let that sit for a few minutes. And let that get all tacky up under that scarf. And then we come back. Now we back. I'm going to take that scarf off. And we're going to see how good she looks. Look at that. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Trust me, they did. Got to be who. So I'm taking my Nairobi wrap foam to go ahead and start styling my baby hairs. How? Well, edges really. I don't really do baby hairs. Edges. And that's my hot comb peeking in. The cord wasn't long enough, so I had to do what I had to do. Now I'm just going in to check my parts. I got my toothbrush. We gonna get to styling the edges. Oh wait, I think I lied. We gonna start laying down my hot, laying down my flyaways and making sure she's extra flat with the hot comb. That's what I'm doing right now. And eventually, I will go in with the Nairobi. I'm gonna let y'all just, I'm a hush and let y'all watch what I'm doing. everything to each side i know i could yeah, i'm out of the camera for one half but literally what whatever i do to one side i'm doing it to the other now that looks good i'm gonna go ahead and style my edges like i was talking about before with the nairobi foam when i get my hair to how i like it i'm gonna go ahead and grab that scarf again and put it around my edges so they don't move the Nairobi is a wrapping foam, so wherever you put your hair, it's going to stay that way. Backwards. I'm just popping in, because this is a voiceover, but I'm just popping in. Do y'all see her? And I want to say, don't come for me in the comments, because I'm not no hair girl. I'm not no YouTube beauty guru. Y'all already know that. Y'all already know that. This is really a lifestyle channel, but I'm giving y'all a little bit of everything. Um, But do y'all see her sitting with the Tresemme 5 hole? Got to be who? Because got to be broke. And I said, wow. But do y'all... Come back to the uh, to the voiceover. But yeah, y'all. I had to pop in and tell y'all what was tea, y'all. She was looking real good. But I'm grabbing my curly wand. This is an old curly wand. I got it from Marshalls for about $15. It is about a 1.5 inch curly wand. And I'm just curling away from my face to give effortless curls. I'm pretty sure y'all have seen wrong curls on youtube a thousand times so i'ma just fast forward through this and let y'all see me work i'm just fixing my hair how i want it playing around with her playing around with her and that's really it Okay, you guys, that is it for this video. I kind of just want to end the video bare faced. Like, just a fresh face. Like, my skin is glowing. I don't want to put no makeup on it. So, I'm not. I'm going to end the video here. Um, so, this is literally just how I apply my, wi uh, my wigs, guys. Um, it's real simple, real easy. Like I said, don't come for me in the comments. Um, not the best wig putter on her. <laughs> wig applier. Been in the wig game, what, two years now, boo? Finally stepped to the tool five by five. I do a little baby hair here, a little baby hair there. That's it, okay? And when you do do your makeup, you know, I can 
blocked it so it really does look flawless and seamless into the hair but like i said i don't really put no makeup on his face today but yeah that is all for this video i hope it was helpful to any of my new girls um who are in you know new in the wig game you know get you a little five by five closure like we we passed the four by four get you a five by five you want to like frontal affected look you know scalp look without having to do too much work baby i used what one two three three products a scarf it's simple it's easy um but i love you guys so so much thank you for watching i'll see you on my next one bye guys Mwah.